Hello. My name is Ikel Herod, and this is the first, actually probably one of the most important, but the first video that I will be putting up on my new channel, The Future Fiction Factory. And what do we do here at The Future Fiction Factory? Well, we help you create fiction, and we do it with technology. Sometimes that technology is Photoshop because we help you uh, produce a book or um, maybe even create your own movies through things like Mid Journey. But what we really want to do is show you how you can at least at this juncture become a really, really pretty decent writer, which is really important because if you want to tell stories, you got to write them down. And this is a chance for you to learn how to write them down and become more than what you are. So how, pray tell, are, are, am I going to help you fulfill that through this video? Well, I'm going to show you a piece of software. That piece of software is called PseudoWrite. <laughs> and it's a revelation. I don't even, I can't even explain to you how important, at least I think it is, to what is going to be the future of writing. Whether you like it or not, you're going to need to crank out more content because people want content. And there's the biggest complaint that I have with my authors that I read and they have from most of their customers, their clients, their readers, is that they cannot get their content out fast enough. I found a pretty, pretty amazing piece of software called PseudoWrite. And we're going to go over PseudoWrite today. I will be putting another video out that really goes over all of the frequently asked questions that everyone asks about what PseudoWrite is and what it does and how it does it. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to show you what it is and how how you can use it for all kinds of things to create complete things completely from nothing without having an idea in your head maybe you aren't creative in that way but when you get into the story you can chop it up and make it into what you want it to be or maybe you're a person that plots the hell out of everything and you know exactly what the voices are and how you want them to be. This software can become what you want it to be. It's so exciting and I'm, I'm doing this off the cuff because I want to make sure that I get it out pretty quickly, actually. I see on YouTube that there is a lack of pseudo write content. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to look at this. And what I feel my advantage is, is I have the ability, because I'm a trained actor and a trained speaker, and I've been in front of people for a very long time, but I also really enjoy the idea of writing and, and writing. I've written thousands, and I mean maybe, uh, I, I'm going to say a million words. I've written about a million words that I've never published, and that's because I don't have, I did not have confidence in my writing to let other people read it. And even when you aren't putting out things for some publisher in New York to read, you want people to know who you are as a writer and the only way you can do that is to progress and actually put yourself out there and I want to put myself out there and I want to do it by the order of three books this year I don't know if that's going to be possible but it could very well be but this is what we're doing today we are going to work with pseudo right 
here it is. This is what it is right here. As you can see, pseudo right is a it's a piece of writing software that actually helps you create stories very simply. So this is the actual front page. You can go over here and look at the live classes and register for things. You can even look at a couple of videos about prompting and stuff like that. They've got a nice little library over there. The teacher is amazing, and I can't remember her name right at this very moment, but I will put it right under this video right here in the bottom here about her name, and she is absolutely, she's infectious. I'm in love with her. She's a very, very good teacher. Uh, made me very excited about the subject of creating my own work again. And I have several, I have lots and lots of words and I have lots and lots of ideas and I have other things that I need to have expanded because I don't have enough of an idea of what I want to do with them and <laughs> pseudo right can help you do all of that. So let's get into it. Up here in the upper left hand corner, you have new, click on new and you have an untitled document. Uh, my teacher says, title your work. So title your work. We're going to call this uh, um, uh, learning. Learning pseudo, how about that? And we'll just use that as a placeholder name so that we can keep track of this on air project. Okay, so we have, as you can see over here on the left hand side, this right here is write. It, it requires you to write at least 20 words uh, before the cursor can start doing things. And then you are off to the races. If you have a little bit of an idea of where you want a scene to start, you can let it do a lot of the heavy lifting for you and you can start the notion and have it finish the notion. Or as you click into it, if you, if it lets me, Oh, I guess I have to, oh, that's right. I have to <laughs> add a actual project right here. And uh, now I have these two untitled uh, things and I can now title those and click into that. I've got this GPT writer thing. I have got to close that down at some point. All right, so rename to um, rename to test one. And then we are going to write something. I like to dictate, so we're going to dictate. We're going to um, use our voice. I like to do that. Um, it works really well for me. So I'm going to come up with a story right this second. Okay. Let's say that uh, I have a guitar and I decide I want to become a busker. Okay, let's go with that. I have a guitar and I want to become a busker. Period. But I started to think to myself that I wasn't good enough to go out there and show the people what to do. Period. Then I thought to myself, comma, my teacher always said, comma, open quote, 10,000 hours, man, close quote. Now, I take those words that are sitting right there. And I create, and I just write something. And there it is. It's just 10,000 hours become a master. All right, here we go. I'm going to read some of these to you. As a matter of fact, let's see. 
Can I? Yes. 10,000 hours become a master. To become a master. So I decided that I would spend every waking moment practicing and perfecting my craft until I was ready to hit the streets and show the world what I was made of. Days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months. My fingers became calloused and my mind became consumed with the sound of strings. 